is Scott from KIG. It is April 3rd. This is our uh, 15 ton carrier chiller set up for a very low temp process operation. We're gonna, this is the first of several videos. Um, what we have is we have our heated tank here with about uh, maybe 120, 150 gallons of uh, glycol mixture. Um, we have it connected to a temperature control unit. Uh, which is basically our heater, our load. It's not a full 10 or 15 tons of load, but it gives us something. Uh, and that, that gives the heated water back into the tank and there's a heat exchanger in there. You can see right now the tank water, uh, just to start the test, a little bit over, over 80 degrees. Um, I'm going to turn on the, the power right now. and just, just the pump will come on when I turn the main disconnect uh, power on. Um, and it's this switch here to turn the actual chiller chiller on. So right now we are uh, we are pumping. We're not chilling yet, of course. As we start the test, I got labeled back here a couple things. I got the leaving water temperature, or, which is the chilled water directly from the chiller. Uh, in this case, it's um, from the barrel, and it's going to go actually right to the pump back there. I can feel it right now, it's kind of warm. Um, this gauge here, as we start testing, we're going to put a temperature gauge in here to that little fitting. Uh, but right now, that's sh just showing you, we got about 20, uh, 20 psi of pump pressure. Uh, this is set up as an open loop. We're just pu pumping it uh, back, into the, uh, back into the tank. Depending what the application is like, uh, you may need to either upgrade to a bigger pump uh, or use a tank. Um, discuss that uh, later. So again, 20, uh, 20 PSI right now. We're going to take that out. Um, this is going to show us ultimately the leaving water temperature um, back to, uh, the, out, to the, uh, out to the process. We are going to put a temperature gauge here. And this goes right out to the top of the tank. Then coming from the tank on the bottom here, and then call that our entering water temperature. That's the tank water from the uh, process that goes right in here into into the chiller, the chiller barrel. 